Hello, this is Solving Inequalities, Absolute Value Equations, Example 5. And um, this uh, has to do with a an absolute error. So they um, are saying that the basketball can be inflated to a pressure of 8 pounds per square inch with an absolute, val absolute error of 0.5 psi. And they give us a little formula, and it says that um, you take the uh, measured pressure. So the absolute error can be 0 0.5, and then the absolute error is equal to the absolute value of the measured air pressure. Take away the accepted air pressure. So we end up with um, this little absolute value uh, equation. So um, if this equals this, then uh, we can reverse this, of course. So the absolute value of P minus 8 is equal to 0 0.5. That's just so all the variables are on the left-hand side of the equation. Um, I, I find it easier to work that way, and so do most of my students. So anyway, now I have an absolute value equal a number, so uh, I'm ready to split it in half. Uh, one is positive, p minus 8 is equal to 0 0.5. And um, the other one is that negative, p minus 8 is equal to 0 0.5. Okay, solving this one uh, by adding 8 to both sides, I can get p is equal to 8.5. Now distributing this negative sign, I get negative p plus 8 is uh, equal to 0 0.5. So when I subtract 7 from both sides, I get negative p. Um, I'm sorry, when I subtract 8 from both sides, I get negative p uh, is equal to negative 7.5. And now dividing both sides by negative 1 or multiplying by uh, negative 1, I get p is equal to 7.5. So this is my OR condition p is equal to 8.5 or p is equal to 7.5. And this really should make sense. Uh, we probably could have done this uh, right in our head, right from the beginning. If it's 8 pounds per square inch and an absolute value of uh, error of 0.5, that means that uh, the 8 pounds could, could be uh, 0.5 less, which is this, or it could be 0.5 more, which is this.